Blue Origin says its new Glenn rocket is ready to launch, but before that happens, the company needs regulatory approval. From Port Canaveral's Jetty Park, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket sits in the distance, waiting for regulatory approvals for a hot fire and then maiden flight from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. How does a rocket company spend billions of dollars in years of development only to end up with an engine that's never been fired? That's the perplexing situation facing Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket, and it's sending shockwaves through the space industry. With a planned 2024 launch, New Glenn sits idle, its powerful B-4 engine silent. As we dive into this cosmic conundrum, we'll uncover the technical challenges, regulatory hurdles, and internal struggles that have brought this ambitious project to its knees. Is this the end of the road for New Glenn, or can Blue Origin pull off a miracle? The silent engines of New Glenn. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket stands as a colossal leap forward in space travel capabilities. At 322 feet tall and generating 3.85 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, this giant aims to carry cargo and crews to orbit and beyond. But a significant hurdle stands in its way. The BE-4 engines powering New Glenn's first stage have yet to undergo a full-scale test firing, despite years of development and billions invested. This unusual situation has the space industry buzzing with questions. How can Blue Origin be so close to launch without this crucial milestone? While Blue Origin remains tight-lipped about the specifics, the technical challenges preventing these engine tests are undoubtedly complex. The lack of transparency only fuels speculation and concern within the industry. The absence of engine tests at this stage in development stands out when compared to industry norms. We've seen how other major players typically conduct multiple tests well in advance of planned launches. Blue Origin's departure from this standard raises eyebrows and potential red flags. These delays could have far-reaching consequences for the entire New Glenn program. Each setback pushes back not just the first launch, but subsequent missions and potential contracts. Investor confidence may also waver as the project seems to stall on the launch pad. As we examine this cosmic conundrum, it becomes clear that Blue Origin's development approach might be at the root of their challenges. Their slow is smooth and smooth is fast philosophy appears to be backfiring in the fast-paced space industry. But is this cautious strategy truly helping or hurting their progress? That's a question we'll explore next as we dive deeper into Blue Origin's unique approach to reaching the stars. A House of Cards, New Glenn's Interconnected Challenges. Blue Origin's New Glenn project faces a perfect storm of challenges that threaten its success. The development process is a complex web of interdependencies, where each component relies on the successful completion of others. This intricate dance of engineering and logistics leaves little room for error, and unfortunately for Blue Origin, errors seem to be piling up. While the lack of BE-4 engine firing tests remains a critical concern, other key components of New Glenn are still unfinished. This creates a domino effect of delays, pushing back the timeline for integration and testing and jeopardizing the 2024 launch target. The challenges extend beyond the rocket itself. Blue Origin's launch pad construction has hit significant roadblocks, with reports indicating that the infrastructure may not be fully ready to support New Glenn's operations. Potential issues with fuel handling systems and connections between the rocket and ground equipment have emerged. Adding to these woes, Hurricane Milton has caused damage to the launch pad, further complicating an already strained timeline. Regulatory hurdles also loom large for Blue Origin. The company has yet to secure the necessary launch license for New Glenn, a process involving rigorous reviews by regulatory bodies. Without this crucial clearance, New Glenn remains grounded, regardless of its technical readiness. The cumulative impact of these interconnected challenges is significant. NASA's Escapade CubeSat mission to Mars, initially slated to be New Glenn's first payload, has been reassigned due to the delays. This change in payload further complicates the rocket's debut flight plans. As Blue Origin grapples with these setbacks, competitors like SpaceX continue to achieve milestones and secure contracts. The delays have amplified skepticism about Blue Origin's ability to compete effectively in the commercial space race. Blue Origin's approach to rocket building differs fundamentally from its competitors. This unique philosophy may be at the root of their current predicaments, but is their cautious strategy a recipe for long-term success? 
or is it holding them back in a fast-paced industry? To understand this, we need to examine Blue Origin's company culture and development approach. What drives their decision-making and how might it shape the future of New Glenn and the company itself? Slow and steady or falling behind? Blue Origin's philosophy. While SpaceX seems to embrace chaos, Blue Origin meticulously plans every move. It's a stark contrast that's shaping the future of space exploration. But here's the million dollar question. Is Blue Origin's careful approach building a stronger foundation or is it causing them to fall behind in a rapidly evolving industry? Blue Origin's development philosophy is all about caution and precision. They believe in exhaustive analysis and planning before taking any major steps. It's like they're building a rocket with tweezers and a magnifying glass, carefully examining every bolt and wire before moving forward. This strategy aims to minimize the risk of catastrophic failures early on, but it comes at a cost, time. On the other side of the cosmic fence, we have SpaceX with their test fast, fail fast approach. They're not afraid to push boundaries and embrace the occasional explosion. This method allows them to identify problems quickly and implement rapid fixes. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy that has led to numerous successful missions and rapid advancements in rocket technology. The contrast between these two approaches is stark. Blue Origin's cautious strategy has some clear advantages. It reduces the likelihood of major setbacks and potentially saves money in the long run by avoiding costly failures. However, this slow and steady pace has significantly delayed their progress. The new Glenn rocket, which began development in 2012, has yet to achieve its first orbital flight. That's a long time in the fast-paced world of space exploration. SpaceX, meanwhile, has been launching rockets, landing boosters, and even sending astronauts to the International Space Station. Their rapid progress has left many wondering if Blue Origin's careful approach is actually holding them back. The perspectives from within Blue Origin and the broader industry are mixed. Jeff Bezos, the company's founder, remains confident in their long-term potential. This reflects a commitment to their vision, even in the face of current challenges. However, not everyone shares this optimism. Some former Blue Origin officials have criticized the company's work ethic, with one stating that Blue Origin is kind of lazy compared to SpaceX. This sentiment highlights the growing concern about Blue Origin's ability to keep pace with its more nimble competitors. The long-term implications of Blue Origin's approach are still unfolding. Will their meticulous planning lead to more reliable and efficient rockets in the future? Or will they be left in the cosmic dust as competitors continue to innovate at a breakneck pace? As we look to the future of New Glenn and Blue Origin, one thing is clear. Their philosophy is shaping their trajectory in the commercial space race. But with investors and industry analysts growing increasingly skeptical, the pressure is mounting. Can Blue Origin adapt their cautious approach to meet the demands of this rapidly evolving industry? Or will they need to embrace a bit more chaos to stay in the game? The answers to these questions will not only determine the fate of New Glenn, but could reshape the entire landscape of commercial space exploration. The clock is ticking. New Glenn's future and Blue Origin's ambitions. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket faces a critical moment. The challenges we've explored have created a perfect storm of setbacks with far-reaching consequences for the company's space ambitions. The clock is ticking, and further delays could reshape Blue Origin's entire cosmic roadmap. Expert predictions now suggest a launch window stretching from late 2024 to early 2025. This isn't just a minor hiccup, it's a potential roadblock for Blue Origin's future. Take the Blue Moon Lunar Lander, a key piece in NASA's Artemis program. If New Glenn isn't ready to fly, how can Blue Origin deliver on its lunar promises? The domino effect could impact other projects, jeopardizing the company's position in the space industry. The commercial space landscape is in flux, and Blue Origin's competitors aren't standing still. The company now faces a crucial decision. Stick to their cautious approach or embrace a more agile strategy to catch up. Either way, the next few months will be decisive. Jeff Bezos remains optimistic about Blue Origin's long-term prospects, but will investors and potential customers share his patience? The success of New Glenn's first flight has become more critical than ever, a make-or-break moment for the company's entire space strategy. As we look to the future, questions linger. Can Blue Origin overcome these hurdles and realize its cosmic dreams? Will they find innovative solutions to accelerate their progress? 
The coming months will reveal whether they can adapt and thrive in the rapidly evolving space industry. The answers to these questions won't just shape one company's future, they could redefine humanity's journey to the stars. Conclusion Blue Origin's journey with New Glenn has been fraught with challenges. From engine tests to regulatory hurdles, the company faces a daunting task. The big question now, can they launch by late 2024? Or is a longer delay inevitable? This cosmic drama is reshaping the commercial space industry. While Blue Origin grapples with New Glenn's development, competitors like SpaceX continue to make strides. The balance of power in the space race hangs in the balance. The stakes are high for Blue Origin. New Glenn's success or failure could significantly impact the company's future in the space industry. As we watch this story unfold, we're witnessing a critical moment in the evolution of private space exploration. The outcome of Blue Origin's efforts will undoubtedly influence the trajectory of commercial space ventures for years to come. Will Blue Origin overcome the odds and launch New Glenn on schedule? Or will delays continue to plague the project? The answers to these questions will shape the future of private space exploration. As we eagerly await the next chapter in this cosmic saga, one thing is clear. The race to space is more competitive than ever.